and a group out of Montreal is calling for leg traps to be restricted or even banned. It says it's a cruel practice with too many pets winding up caught in the trap's jaws. Daniel Rowe reports. Uh, she was uh, having a walk like always uh, at my chalet. <laughs> And uh, <clears throat> he got trapped. Frederick Bard has trouble recounting the time the four-legged member of his family got caught in a leg trap. Obviously, he was very close to die because uh, those are instruments to, to kill animals, obviously. When Barrard posted the story on Facebook about a trap snapping shut on Che's snout, other pet owners began telling similar troubling stories. I received so many testimonies mentioning the same story again and again and again. And then I realized that was, that was not an anecdote. That's a phenomenon. And we need to regulate that to stop that. In 2023, we're better than that in Quebec. Berard launched a petition calling for stricter regulation and possible banning of leg hold traps. The proposed ban would not include traditional indigenous trapping. To legally set traps in Quebec, you must be 12 years old, have taken the training course, and have a license. You can then set traps on any public land so long as you don't use traps with teeth, hooks, claws, or barbed wire. Trappers are not required to post signs warning people and are not required to check the traps daily. There's a story of a dog that has been trapped and has to stay there for like nine days. A 2008 American Veterinary Medical Association report found that as many as 67% of animals caught in traps are non-target animals. In Quebec, trappers only need to make a report if they caught animals such as polar bears, cougars, caribou, or bobcats, not pets. The damage leg hold traps do is often severe. We've seen animals come in with um, muscle tears through their legs and we've had to try to suture them back together. We've seen animals come in who are in these traps for days at a time and so they begin to get really severe bacterial infections in their paws and going up their arm and sometimes the only thing you can do in that case is amputate the arm. When a pet is hurt, so is its owner. Often, the witnessing of such horrific images, especially when it's your own animal, to see um, muscle exposed, lots of blood, that's very traumatizing for people. So often we will hear from clients that they still, they have dreams about it and they're still thinking about it years after it happened. Pet owners are also forced to make the decision to pay costly vet bills or say goodbye to a member of their family. Traps are easy to find online, and they're cheap. The trap that caught Berard's dog, Che, costs about $25. If the trap had caught his other dog, Lennon, or a smaller animal like a cat, it likely would have killed him. We've been very lucky that he's a tough cookie because most of the time, dogs like that just die right away. Daniel Rose, CTV News.